On the 4th of November 1944, the Royal Navy's V-Class submarine HMS Ventura deployed from Lerwick in the Shetland Islands to conduct a patrol near the Anford in the north of German-occupied Norway. Commanded by Lieutenant James Launders, Ventura headed out into the Norwegian Sea and arrived at the mouth of the Anford on the 9th of November, where she immediately set about patrolling the area in search for any hostile shipping. For two days, she carried out her mission without incident, until the morning of the 11th of November, when her crew spotted a surface German Navy U-boat anchored in the ford itself. Known as U-771, this German submarine had arrived in the Anford the previous day, having just completed her own patrol into the Barents Sea, where she had hunted for merchant vessels destined for the Soviet Union. Now in anchorage off the coast of Andenes, the 51-man crew of U-771 were resting and preparing for their next operation, oblivious to the fact that they themselves were now being hunted by a British submarine. The war report for HMS Ventura records that 0839 hours, sighted the Koning Tower of a 740 tons U-boat, on course 195 degrees, speed 15 knots, range 3,500 yards. Immediately started attack while the tubes are brought to the ready. Maneuvering herself into a position two kilometers south where she had spotted U-771, Ventura locked onto the German U-boat and at 0845 she fired a salvo of four torpedoes. Her report continues. 0846, heard a loud explosion followed by crackling noises. 0848, heard a small explosion followed by a brief rushing noise, thought to be the target's batteries exploding. 0850, periscope observation showed that the target had disappeared. No sound also was picked up on the bearing of the target. Struck by at least one of the torpedoes, U-771, which had only been in service with the German Navy for a year, sunk to the bottom of the Anford within four minutes, with none of the 51 sailors who were on board her that day surviving the action. As smoke rose up across the ford, HMS Ventura disappeared back into the depths of the Norwegian Sea, where she would resume her patrol duties for the next two weeks, eventually returning to Lerwick on the 24th of November, having encountered no additional enemy ships. Two and a half months later, on the 2nd of February 1945, and still under the command of Lieutenant James Launders, HMS Ventura set out once more from Lerwick for another patrol off the coast of Norway. This time, the British submarine was operating in the vicinity of Bergen, and much like the patrol back in November of 1944, the first few days proceeded without anything to report. However, just after 0930 on the 9th of February, and whilst the Ventura was submerged, Lieutenant Launders and his crew picked up a sound through their hydrophones. 0932 picked up very faint diesel HE bearing 340 degrees. It then faded. 1010 again heard diesel HE now bearing 295 degrees. It increased and drawed north. 1035 bearing of the HE was now 320 degrees. Still nothing to be seen. The sound the Ventura had picked up was the engine of German Navy submarine U-864, which had departed from Bergen on the 7th of February as part of a mission to transport technology and supplies to Japan. Not long into the mission, U-864's engine began to make a strange knocking sound, leading to the vessel's commander, Rolf Reimer Wolfram, to make the decision to return to Bergen so that the engine could be checked over and the issue could be fixed. Unbeknown to Wolfram, however, was that the knocking sound had compromised the position of the German U-boat to HMS Ventura, which was now in position between Bergen and U-864. Tracking the noise being emitted by the enemy boat, the crew of HMS Ventura, at around 10.50, finally got eyes on U-864, which, despite being submerged, could be seen thanks to its mast protruding above the waterline. 25 minutes later, at 11.15, the Ventura spotted U-864's periscope for the first time, and although in striking distance, Lieutenant Launders directed his crew to hold off from attacking so that they could gather additional information on the speed and course of the German submarine. 11.51 hours, sighted the periscope of the target again at a range of 2,000 yards. 
was now able to establish the current course of the enemy of about 135 degrees at a speed of 3.5 knots. We were gaining bearing on his starboard quarter. The enemy appeared to be zigzagging on a mean course of 120 degrees. Having stalked his prey for an hour, HMS Ventura finally moved in to carry out its attack. And at 12.12 on the 9th of February 1945, around 6 kilometers off the Norwegian island of Fedja, the British submarine fired four torpedoes at U-864. At 12.14, the first torpedo struck the target, although the other three missed and hit the Norwegian shoreline at 12.17. Nonetheless, the one torpedo that hit U-864 proved deadly, as the submarine exploded, broke up into three parts, and sank to the bottom of the North Sea marking the first recorded instance in military history of a submerged submarine taking out another submerged submarine. In the aftermath, HMS Ventura remained in the vicinity of the engagement for the next few hours, during which she observed a patch of oil forming on the surface, with small bits of debris floating nearby. Thereafter, the British submarine continued to patrol the coastline near Bergen until the 15th of February 1945, when she returned to port at Lerwick thus bringing a successful end to her 11th patrol of the Second World War. Thank you for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so that you never miss one of my future videos.